People say the sky's the limit, but the real discoveries await in the oceans. As a matter of fact, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration estimate that as much as 95% of the world's oceans and 99% of the ocean floor have not yet been explored. With every additional 10 meters downwards into the ocean, the pressure increases by one atmosphere, which means that at 50 meters, the pressure is five times as high as it is on the surface. How little we have discovered and how difficult it is can be portrayed by the example of the Egyptian diver Ahmed Kav, who holds the world record of the deepest scuba dive, reaching an incredible 3,032 meters, which is 1,089 feet. It is important, however, to consider that this number is only a fraction of the max depth of the Red Sea, which is 3,040 meters. If Gavr had been able to swim another 111 meters, he would have reached the height of the Empire State Building if it was submerged underwater. As you travel deeper into the ocean, the amount of light significantly decreases, which is an important psychological factor for divers. As lowered visibility increases the danger of already risky endeavor, the lack of light that is the challenge for divers is the reason that so many bioluminescent creatures inhabit the ocean, including various deep sea fish, jellies, and plankton. No sunlight reaches a thousand meters below the surface, as it is either reflected or absorbed. Therefore, shrouding the water is permanently darkness and is rightfully referred as a scary zone. Further down at 2,000 meters, we see some of the most terrifying sea creatures like the black dragonfish or the colossal squids. The colossal squids can become 14 meters long, can weigh more than 750 kilograms, and are often recognized for their battles with sperm whales. The abyssal zone is further down at 4,000 meters and is home to some of the most frightening sea creatures such as the viperfish, anglerfish, and fangtooth. 6,000 meters below is the beginning of the hadal zone. Pressures in the hadal zone can be 1,100 times the pressure of the surface. The deepest known point of the ocean is the Challenger Deep and is an astonishing 10,994 meters below the surface. In 1960, the first and only humans were able to descend to the Challenger Deep in the special purpose-built submarine called the Trieste. The descent took almost five hours and they were only be able to stay for 20 minutes on the ocean floor before the window cracked and they were forced to resurface. Today, only 35% of the ocean has been mapped with modern equipment, and only 5% had been explored. With the help of modern equipment, scientists are only now able to confirm that there is darkness in the depth of the ocean. However, almost 1400 years ago, Allah Almighty stated in the Quran that, or the unbeliever states, is like the depth of the darkness in a vast deep ocean, overwhelmed with billow tapped any billow tapped by dark clouds, depth of darkness, one above another. If a man stretched out his hand, he can hardly see it. For any whom Allah gives no light, there's no light. Al-Quran 2440. Providing knowledge of the lack of light in the ocean depth, 1100 years before the invention of submarines, let alone the existence of modern technology. Moreover, after looking further into the previous verse, in a deep sea, it is covered by waves, above which are waves, above which are clouds. We see the suggestion that the deep waters of seas and oceans are covered by waves on top of waves. It is clear that the second set of waves are the surface waves that we see, because the verse mentions that above the second waves there are clouds. But what about the first waves? Scientists recently discovered that there are internal ocean waves that occur in density interfaces between layers of waters with unique densities. It is impossible for the normal human being to explain this phenomena in such detail 1400 years ago without any of the technology used today unless there is one who sees and knows all, who has provided them with such information. O oh Allah, we could not have served you properly. We could not glorify you properly. We could not thank you properly. O oh Allah, forgive us with your forgiveness and forgive our sins with your endless bounty.